and welcome to another video. Uh, now as summer's blistering heat hits Australia, I'll be switching over from a petticoat to a hoop skirt. I've had a lot of questions from my local comm members about my specific Yotsuba hoop skirt, so I figured I'd share a review video, whether it be because you want to buy this particular hoop skirt, or you want to know the details of a hoop skirt if you want to attempt to make your own. I've also got a series of hoop skirt versus petticoat comparison videos, so don't forget to check that out if you want to see more details on how they look being worn. This video will focus more on its construction, specifically of the Yotsuba hoop skirt. So first up, I'd like to mention that I think mine might be a slightly older version than the two newer versions on Yotsuba's hoop skirts, uh, though I doubt there'd be much of a difference, but just throwing that out there because I think the fabric looks slightly different in that theirs in the promo pics looks slightly spotted. I'd also like to mention that for some reason when googling this Taobao brand, you won't be able to find anything under specifically Yotsuba Home. Uh, just type in Yotsuba Taobao to find the site. I've also popped a link in the description. So to the actual review. The Yotsuba hoop skirt has an elasticated waist at the top and two rings. One near the bottom of the skirt, and the other one around midpoint. There is also a fabric layer over the top. I think something really nice to note is that instead of just one single continuous piece of fabric over the top, the fabric is divided into two pieces that line up with the midpoint ring. There is also really cute lace at the bottom of the hoop skirt, which I think is a really nice finishing touch. Here is also a quick top view of the hoop skirt. Here is also a quick look at the tag in the bag I got this hoop skirt in, in case you want to try see if you can find one on the second hand market. So, flipping the hoop skirt over, this is what it looks like for the inside construction. The hoop rings themselves are made from 0.6cm metal. I actually wasn't sure if this was plastic at first, but I tested it with a magnet, and well yep, it's magnetic. I think it's really important uh, that the metal rings have a small width, because I think with thicker rings, the corners are going to poke through and show through dresses. The small plastic piece holds the rings in the desired diameter by overlapping the metal rings on itself, but also allows the hoop skirt adjustability. Overall, I say the hoop skirt is very comfortable, and even though the tall fabric on the outside may be a little bit scratchy, you won't feel it against your legs like some low grade petticoats would. Not to mention it's also the outside fabric, so at most you'll only feel the lining fabric. I hope you enjoyed that and if you have any questions about this particular hoop skirt, leave some comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.